What's up, Magnus Sites? Okay, now, well, I wanted to do this video because a few of you write me, you ask me questions, and um, I want to let you know where I came from and what helped me make me who I am today, okay? Uh, when, I, when I was 27, I would say 27, yeah, I kind of had this midlife crisis, and uh, it was, you know, I was at that point in my life where I was like, what the fuck are you going to do with yourself? You know? So I'm not sure exactly what got me reading. Something something flicked the switch. And um, I believe it was my mother passing that really flipped that switch for me to go into that midlife crisis. It was, a, it was the first time that I was truly alone. And I realized that I had, I didn't have my mother to lean on anymore, you know? Um, to a lot of guys that, just have one single parent, you know, you know, they, they tend to be that crutch for you. And if they babied you, which my mom did, you didn't realize that they raised you to be pretty weak because they didn't make you do a lot of things on your own. So when they're gone, you know, it's like the rug is pulled out from underneath you. So what happened was after she died of cancer, breast cancer, um, I decided to read that book, Natural Cures, that they don't want you to know about by Kevin Trudeau. These two books that I'm going to talk about are what changed my life forever. They helped make me who I am, and they both set me on my path. The first one was Natural Cures They Don't Want You to Know About. Best time selling author. He's the biggest nonfiction author of all time. He even beat out Harry Potter, I believe, either one or two years in a row. That's how big uh, his books sold. He... And this book basically tells you how the whole medical industry works, how the healthcare industry works, and he talks about um, natural health, how to take care of yourself naturally, okay? Um, this was before, I read this, I was in the middle, it was funny, I was in the middle of reading this book when I had my kidney stone attack. And I'll, I'll do a second video and tell y'all the whole story on that day and how that went. And it was funny, I would say, I mean, I had a lot of different physical issues, things that were starting to happen to me that never happened to me before in my life and I didn't understand why they were happening and now I finally knew why. And because of him, I'm a lot healthier and I really truly believe that he helped save my life. So thank you very much, Kevin Trudeau. Now, the second book is Rich Dad Poor Dad. When you read this book, you're gonna realize how stupid you really are financially. You're gonna realize why so many of you can't get nowhere financially in your life. You're gonna you're gonna figure it out. You're gonna be like, I can't believe this shit. I had two people read this book. My brother and my girlfriend. I physically said, look, go read it. My girl literally called me like six or seven times within an hour to say, oh my God, oh, I never thought about it like that. Oh, this, this, this. yeah, and my brother, he read it. He ended up reading both of those books at the same time because I told him these are the books that changed my life. He, he's a tough man. He is, a, he is totally different than who he used to be. And so is my girlfriend. And, uh, I don't have the books to show. I, one's on the shelf, and I forgot. I threw out the dust jackets because I hate dust jackets because I hate the way they slide around. So you don't know what the picture looks like, but on the book. But in another one, I gave it to a friend, and I bet you she still ain't fucking read it. I guarantee you she ain't read it. She's just one of them people that very nice person, but in her heart of hearts, she truly doesn't believe she could get to where she wants to be. So those people you can't really help, but. Um, it usually takes some type of threshold to, to get over before you really want to better yourself. You know what I'm saying? And uh, when I read Robert Kiyosaki's book, thank you very much, Mr. Kiyosaki, um, now I have more money than I ever had in my whole life. You know, it, 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 it just was, it's incredible. It's one of those ingenious things. It's just your mindset when, you know, you're looking at something one way is either half full or half empty. It's kind of as simple as that. When you're reading the book, he tells it in a very simple way. And you're like, if I had a fucking did that, 
I wouldn't be broke as fuck right now. Like, like, but it was like the heavens were opened. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it was like God looking at me like, ah, see, yeah, there's a way. There's a way. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, wow, the fuck have I been doing with my life all this time? So I was like, damn, look, the two biggest stresses that people seem to have in their life is financial and physical. And these two books, <laughs> I was like, okay, now I don't have to be physically ill and stressed that way. And now I don't have to be financially ill and stressed with debt Ariel all on my mind all the time. I'm telling y'all, please take it from me. I'm doing well now. Get this book, these two books, okay? And I think it's, it's, it's really gonna help y'all, you know, <laughs> at least, look, if it don't help you get to the heights that you wanna get to, at least it's gonna take a whole lot of stress out of your lives and you're gonna know what to do. And it's just gonna open more doors because you're gonna think differently. You know what I'm saying? And then you're just going to keep discovering more and more and more and more like I did. And so now I am where I am because of those two men helping me out with their books. So I uh, hope this has helped y'all out and I uh, will talk to y'all later.